Hello, it's another beautiful day. We are grateful to God for the gift of life and the gift of brothers and sisters and friends and family. My name is Tony Abba and it is my pleasure to say welcome to the program. This is a Light for the Nation, a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today we are looking at building relationship. And Reverend Father Benedict Alakwe will be our guide. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of this day. Thank you for the gift of our lives. We pray and commit all our actions, all our words, all our prayers. May be guided and directed by your Holy Spirit. And may you lead us through to the end. This are many more ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Welcome, dear brothers and sisters, to today's reflection. And I'd like us to reflect on the theme building relationships. In any setting, the importance of building a healthy interpersonal relationship cannot be overemphasized if a good working relationship is to be achieved. And so, the following tips will be handy in this regard. First, let go of old wounds through forgiveness. Every moment of our life, we are either growing or dying. And when we are physically healthy, it is a choice, not fate. The act of maintaining happiness in your life and relationship relies on the fine balancing act of holding on or letting go. Yes, sometimes people you trust, including yourself, will hurt you. Being hot is something you cannot avoid, but being continuously miserable is always a choice. Forgiveness is a remedy. You have not let go of what is behind you before you can grasp. You have to let go of what is behind you before you can grasp what the good before you can grasp the goodness in front of you. And so Forgive your enemies, but never forget their names. Second, come clean when you make a mistake. An honest heart is the beginning of everything that is right with this world. The most honorable people of all are those who never make, are not those who never make mistakes, but those who admit them when they do, and then go on and do their best to right the wrongs they have done. In the end, being honest might not always win you a lot of friends and lovers, but it will always keep the right ones in your life. Third, stop gossiping and start communicating. A good rule of thumb is, if you can't say it, to their face, you should not say it behind their back. The best thing you can do at a friend's back is to pat him or her. As Eleanor Roosevelt once said, great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, but small minds discuss people. Life is much too short to waste talking about people or gossiping, or stirring up what troubles that has no substance. If you do not know, you ask. If you do not agree, you say so. And if you do not like it, speak up. But never judge people behind their back. Fourth, give others the space to make their own decisions. Stop judging others by your own past. Never act, judge, or treat people like you know them better than they know themselves. They are living a different life than you are. What might be good for one person might not be good for another. What might be bad for one person might change another person's life for the better. Allow people in your life to make their own mistakes and their own decisions. Fifth, do things that make you happy. If you want to awaken happiness in a relationship, 
Start by living a life that makes you happy. And then radiate your happiness into your relationship. If you want to eliminate suffering in a relationship, start by eliminating the dark and negative parts of your life. And then radiate your positivity into your relationship. Truly, the greatest power you have in this world is the power of your own self transformation. All the positive change you seek in any relationship starts, one, starts with the one in the mirror. Sixth, show your loved ones your kindness in small ways every day. A writer once said, no act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. Nothing could be closer to the truth. Always be kinder than necessary. You never know what someone is going through. Sometimes you have to be kind to someone, not because they are nice, but because you are. Too often we underestimate the power of a touch, the power of a smile, the power of a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. And so I tell us, we are, not, we are nothing without each other, so we need to stay connected. Seven, say less when less means more. It takes some courage to stand up and speak. It takes even more courage to open your mind and listen. Pay attention and be a good listener. Your ears will never get you in trouble. People in your life often need a listening ear more than they need a rambling voice. And don't listen to the intent, with the intent to reply. Hear what is being said with the intent to understand. You are as beautiful as the love you give. And you are as wise as the silence you leave behind. Eight, let your love and trust overpower your fear. You never lose by loving. You lose by holding back. No relationship is impossible until you refuse to give it a chance. Love means giving someone the chance to hurt you, but trusting them not to. Without this trust, a relationship cannot survive. You cannot trust cannot just believe what you fear from others. You have to believe in the good faith of others. If you are ever going to have someone trust you, you must feel that you must trust them too. Nine, accept, don't expect. Unconditional acceptance is something we want, but rarely ever give it out. Remember, people never do anything that is out of character. They may do things that go against your expectations, but people do reveal exactly who they are. Never force your expectations on people, other than the expectation that they will do and be exactly who they are. Who they are is not what they say or what you have come to expect. It is who they reveal themselves to be. It's either you accept them as they are, or you move on without them. Finally, let the wrong ones go. Know your what. When you give your time to someone who doesn't respect you, you surrender pieces of your heart you will never get back. All failed relationships hurt, but losing someone who doesn't appreciate and respect you is actually a gain, not a loss. Some people come into your life temporarily simply to teach something. They come and they go and they make a difference. It is perfectly okay that they are not in your life anymore. You now have more time to focus on the relationships that truly really matter. And so finally, never forget three types of people in your life. Those who helped you in your difficult times. Those who left you 
in your difficult times and those who put you in your difficult times. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, we thank you for the gift of your word. We pray that you guide us and let your spirits be our guide in all that we do, that we'll have relationships that will be modeled after that of Jesus Christ and the church who exists through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Reverend Father Benedict Alakwe is of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe he has been able to teach you how to build a positive relationship with God, with your neighbor, and your brothers and sisters, wherever they may be. If you have questions and you want to share with us, please do not forget, send a short note on the numbers as shown on your screen. You can also take advantage of our various social media handles, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Let's further the conversation and let's help one another to build a healthy relationship with one another and to also, above all, build a good relationship with God. Bye for now and have a lovely day.